Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get right into your reading Gemini. You have the six of pentacles here, giving and taking, receiving, balance above everything. You have the knight of pentacles. This is your current obstacle. For some of you guys, it could be feeling a bit restricted uh, for some it could be that uh, perhaps work is currently affecting or finances is currently affecting your relationship now we do have the death card here in the past in passing with the strength card so two major arcanas uh, for some of you guys it could be the ending struggle of difficulties in regards to your finances um, it's almost like a renewed type of energy is what they're saying with the strength card being able to feel uh strong confident in yourself again believing in yourself i i it, it's almost a feeling like you guys have been restricted or there is like anxiousness connected to finances it doesn't necessarily mean struggle but it could be that you're feeling like you're uh in a tight binding when it comes to your finances and that could be something overwhelming for some I do have the full card here. So there's definitely new beginnings. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, there is uh, a, a need or a desire to uh, perhaps, for some, it could be like you just recently got a new home. For others, uh, you could have gotten a, a new purchase, a vehicle, something that you're still struggling to find the balance in. Um Again, it's not a tight, I don't see like a lack of income. I think that it has more to do with uh, balancing more than anything or finding uh, your finding your routine when it comes to monthly expenses. And I think that that's something that could be uh, currently affecting the relationship. You may be a little bit more agitated, a little bit like it's easier for you to uh, become agitated when it comes to your partner, when it comes to communication. Uh, but I think that more than anything, the reason for that is because there is a lot of worry in your mind. Now, what they're saying here with the three of wands, um, keep an optimistic, uh, an optimistic and positive energy to you, Gemini. There is expansion. There is growth coming your way. With the page of pentacles, for some of you guys, it could be children, dealing with children, uh, having some type of expense in regards to your children. Um, and this is something that is greatly impacting. Um, I see you guys constantly worried, constantly thinking of the future. Now, with the world card and the death card, major transformative type of energy, you have the full card here as well. So you have a lot of major arcanas in this reading. Spirit is telling you, Gemini, have faith, um, believe and trust in the process. Uh, you're you're not you're not going to be dealing with this uh, for very long. I think that it has more to do with um, perhaps having like unexpected uh, expenses that, like I said, it could have been that you had a car for a while and it's giving you problems and you recently purchased a new vehicle. So you're still trying to get into the routine of like I said, monthly uh, expenses. But what they're saying is that with this new beginning, there's also opportunities coming your way, Gemini. So hang tight. Uh, try the best you can to remain optimistic and positive as well. Now, you do have the seven of wands here. I see you restricted. I see you agitated, almost like your partner comes to you uh, or tries to communicate or convey even like, hey, I'm you know, seeing you a little bit, you know, upset or it, it really doesn't take much to get you, you know, agitated, to get you frustrated. And they're just coming from a loving place. But I think that for you, uh, you're kind of in a defensive mode right now because you're just not trying to get to a point almost of like in, if in the past you've struggled financially, you promised yourself not to get to that point again. So I think that that's something that is overwhelming. Uh, something that you may be dealing with. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, um, this could signify lack of communication in regards to the person of your interest. And it could be because they are currently struggling with finances. Um, like I said, this is something temporary. It's not something that is going to be very long lasting. So be patient with them. Try to understand that maybe they're not being completely honest with you about their stress or about their burdens. Um, 
so they kind of they kind of step back and they're not really forthcoming or communicating as often as they usually would um, but like I said this is something temporary just hang tight uh, be patient with them and understand that a lot of the time especially when you're dating someone uh, people don't feel very comfortable uh, you know putting on or giving you the 411 on what's going on in their lives so just be patient with that okay I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon.